Whew, that was tough. I've just finished my fitness sets and I'm dead. As you can see, my prey season has just started and I'm already exhausted and it's just going to get worse. How am I going to survive? Since there's not going to be any major tournament in Finland until the beginning of March, I've decided. I will take January and most of February to focus mainly on athletics, to build strength, get speedy and be in proper shape when the new season finally begins. So this is my plan. For the next 6-7 weeks, I'll prioritize athletics over tennis and follow the high performance program by Tennis Fitness. I've I've already done it once back in 2020 and it is devastating but it works like a charm so I'm ready to train like a mad person and get to a whole new fitness level but now let's see how the tests went and what's my current baseline first I did the strength tests my young favorite I've never really worked much on my strength going to the gym is so boring and indeed I think it shows but hey if strength and power are what I need to get a better tennis player I will do what needs to be done okay back to the test I had to perform three moves, squat, bench pull and bench press. And for each of those, find out what's the max weight I can lift for four reps. Test number one, squat. Squats are not the easiest move for me, as my ankle mobility is not exactly the best. But with a bit of help under my heels, even I can do them. After a few trials, I find my number, 40 kilos. Is it little? Is it much? I don't know. The only thing I know is that the only leg workout I did in the last three months was skiing during the Christmas holidays. Holidays. So I think there's room for improvement. Test number two, bench pull. Much more straightforward as a move, but just as tough in terms of effort. In these, I managed the four reps with 25 kilos. Pretty good, I would say, especially taking into account that the heaviest thing I lifted recently is a cup of hot chocolate. Test number three, bench press. This move is my absolute nightmare. I feel super weak and don't trust myself with it at all, to the point that I always want someone around in case I need to be rescued from under the bar. But I did manage to lift 20 kilo in the end. Barely, but 20 nonetheless. Now time for the fun stuff, the speed and agility test. Lucky for me, this weekend I was at my first tennis camp and we spent a lot of time on the court. So at least I should be back into some sort of shape, but let's see. Test number four, the spider. The spider is this fun but deadly exercise in which you run sideways, forward and backward to touch the six points of the service boxes and then spring back to the baseline at the end. I love doing it, but oh boy if it burns. Whew, not bad, 20.3 seconds. Now that the fun stuff is out of the way, time for the final and toughest test of all, the aerobic test. Ah, send help. I remember doing this test back in 2020 and let me tell you, it wasn't pretty. In practice, you have to run back and forth to 10 meters, 20 meters and 30 meters for 10 times. 10 times! Oh my goodness! And voila! Fitness test done and dusted. Now time to start the real pre season and put in the work. Hopefully the high performance tennis fitness program will make miracles again. It did already once. I'm sure it won't disappoint even this time. But we'll see at the end of these six weeks if and how much I have improved. Cannot wait to see the progress. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, smash the like button and subscribe for more tennis life. I'll see you in the next one.